Hi everybody, it's your favorite hood healer, it's your favorite motivational dominatrix, it's your favorite goddess king, Lady Speech Sankofa, in the place to be, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere, anywhere in the world, and yet you are here with me, and I appreciate that. If you're feeling this, if you're feeling me, if you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can keep up with all my latest shenanigans. Now, let's get into it. what up so it's officially uh july 26 and um it has been five long months since i have updated you about anything it's been five almost close to six months since i have spoken to you since i've updated this channel so today we are going to do exactly that we're going to update you about all the goings on um what has happened what's been happening to me what's been going on in my life i'm also going to update you about uh the direction of this channel and the goals of this channel and also you're gonna get a little magic haul today it's sunday and um on sundays i like to do magic magic sundays um and what that means is i like to refresh my altars i like to make my offerings to uh the people on my spiritual team uh i like to re-up on some of my magical supplies so you guys are going to see a little bit of a haul that i get today i'm on my way to a local store called herbs and arts um, and then I'll be going to the grocery store. I don't know if we're going to get any footage of me inside of the stores or whatever, but I'll try to at least get uh, some outside footage of herbs and arts and things of that nature. So yeah, today you're going to go with me. We're going to have a little bit of an update. You're going to see a little bit of some behind the scenes, some of the supplies that I use in my daily practice. You're going to uh, get updated about... Um, yeah my my life and all that good stuff so i'm at home right now my roommate's in the kitchen making good stuff he's a chef he's so amazing um he's not making stuff for us he's making stuff for him um but yeah so we're gonna go out today you might see footage of me outside without my mask uh if you do please know that i am not in close proximity to anybody um and it's just easier to talk sometimes and or walk do some heavy walking without the mask so speaking of masks this is the mask uh, that I will be wearing today. So it is a cute little double uh, double header here. I appreciate it. It's got some like, um, you know, skulls and some snakes and some, you know, occult like imagery. This other side, this is a, a, a reversible. So this side's got some black cats and the moon. And uh, you know, this looks very tarot card-ish. You know, so this is from my uh, good friend Alejandra, and uh, her company is Equotzin. Um, Equotzin. Equatzin, Equatzin, my bad. Her company is Equatzin. So Alejandra, um, the company's name is Equatzin. She's an amazing uh, indigenous designer. Uh, I love her so much. And her masks are sick. So I have three of them already. I'm putting in an order. I've already put it in order uh, for some more. Um, I'm going to drop the link in the comments to her Instagram so you can connect with her if you want to order uh, from her as well. And I order from her support brown business she's dope and i also appreciate her because she's going hard for black lives matter um she's going hard she's doing some real uh deep work as far as confronting anti-blackness within the brown the mexican and the indigenous communities um she's she's doing what she gotta do so i supported her long before this she supported me long before this and you should support her too now with all of that being said it's about to rain so i need to get going and uh, get about my business um, so let's go. Let's go. We're going to get about my business. We are going to get about my business. And I'm going to update you about my business. Because let's all be honest. That's what you're here for. And you here to understand what the hell is happening with this channel. So, let's get into it. All right, y'all. We out here in the streets. We made it. It's raining. But nothing stops Magic Sunday. We here 
I need to pick up some herbs. I need to pick up an oil. I need to pick up a stone. I need to pick up some candles. And that's exactly what we about to do. But it's a new dawn and a new day, y'all. There's hand sanitizer. You gotta stop and wait. Fortunately, there is no line. I've been going to this store for well over 15 years. Now let's go inside and get some magic. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Speech Sink, over in the place to be, and I'm all finished. Here is my big ass bag of magic that I just spent uh, damn near $100 for. So, we're going to go on to the next place to pick up offerings. That's where I'm off to now. I'm going to go to the store and uh, pick up this round of offerings. So, this is. Um, Today we got some supplies. Today we got some candles, we got some herbs. Uh, I think for the most part that's all I got, candles and herbs. I think, oh yeah, I got a couple liquids. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna show you guys soon. And now I'm off to the grocery store because I need to get some offerings for my spiritual team. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm back again. And guess what? I just came from the dispensary. So I know I said I was picking up offerings. Um, and that's true. The dispensary, I picked up offerings for myself. <laughs> so I went to the magic store, grabbed some magic supplies. Uh, then just came from the dispensary, grabbed some um, 420 friendly supplies. Now I'm going to go to 7-Eleven, get my blunt wraps, and head to the grocery store to pick up the food offerings for the spirit. I'll see you guys soon. What up y'all, it's your girl Lady Speech and this is the part of the journey where I'm on my way to the grocery store uh, to pick up the offerings. So I've been to the magic store, I got my supplies. I went to the dispensary to pick up some offerings for myself. <laughs> and I went to the liquor store. I did not record that for you, but I went to the liquor store to get uh, some champagne for my prosperity bath that I like to do, my champagne prosperity bath that I like to do. And um, now we're on our way to the grocery store because I need to pick up some offerings for my deities, my spirits, my loa that uh, help and assist me. And I also need to pick up some offerings for the ancestors because the ancestors have always, 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 they're consistent about helping me out and making sure I'm uplifted walking by a truck right now. So that's the loudness. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna take you on a journey with me inside the store, but you're gonna see everything I bought anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we're almost done. And you know what? I was totally going to walk and talk with you, but it's fucking raining. I'm under an umbrella, it's fucking raining. So we're gonna do all of this catch up when I do the haul. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Hey y'all, I'm back home. And as you can see, I have everything I need behind me. I've done all the shopping, I'm done running all the errands, and now it's time to update you about my life. And it's also time to uh, do this magic haul for you, show you everything I got, and tell you what it's gonna be used for. So stay tuned, I'm gonna take a second, I'm gonna get organized and then we're going to get all the way into the tea that is my life. Are you ready? I hope you're ready, cause I'm ready to tell you all my business. Let's be honest, that's why you're here. Let's go. What up, y'all? So now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Um, and the meat and potatoes of this video is number one, what the hell have I been up to? The actual update. Where is this channel going? What is going on? And also, what are all these things I got? And what will I be using them for? Uh, so we're gonna get into all of that. We're gonna get into all of that, all simultaneously. This is gonna be like a gumbo of uh, content I'm about to give you. I'm gonna talk about all this magical stuff, and I'm also gonna talk about what's been going on with me. So are you ready? I hope you're ready. You're probably ready. Let's do this. Without further ado, here we go. So today was a good day. 
year I did a lot of things. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of things. I did a few things. Uh, significant things. It's Magic Sundays. And so on Sundays, I really like to uh, do my magic. I like to refresh my altars. I like to do either some prosperity magic or some personal magic or protection magic. Whatever spirit tells me to do. I also like to uh, make my offerings on um, Sundays sometimes. You know, whenever spirit tells me. And I also follow certain feast days and certain cosmic days, um, all that. But generally on a regular basis, when I'm working with my spiritual team, I like to uh, get down with him on Sundays. I like to refresh my altars. I like to, I just said that, I like to make my offerings, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. We're gonna cover some of the offerings that I bought today. Nothing else is in here. Okay, so first and foremost, I bought some gladiolas. Um, I've been really feeling um, fresh flowers as offerings, so uh, the spirits have been requesting some fresh flowers. So these caught my eye today. I thought these were absolutely wonderful and beautiful, and I wanted to make sure the spirits uh, got those. Food offerings. Uh, the ancestors, my people are painfully country. I love it. I love it so much. They're from the south. Uh, my father's side of the family is from Texas. My mother's side of the family is from Alabama. And so they were, um, I saw the sweet corn and I can I could hear my grandmother being like get me some sweet corn so I got uh, the ancestors some sweet corn um, I got the spirit some um, pilotino I don't know how you say this I said it all wrong but this is what I got them so I got them this sugary treat I also picked up a pineapple uh, today they really wanted some root stuff, so we've got some squash, squash, some acorn squash. We also have some butternut squash we are going to be giving up today, as well as some sweet potatoes. Check that out, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. So these are the offerings um, that I got today. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Also, actually not, let me move that out of the way because <laughs> I'm gonna need to sit down. I picked up some candles. So of course, you know, when you use getting into your candle magic, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more um, about, you know, witchy things, witchy information. Um, but I picked up this green candle because I'm gonna be working on some prosperity magic. And I picked up this pink candle because I felt called to just do some self-love work. Not that I'm struggling right now, but you know, self-esteem work. Um, Self-esteem work, self-love work is an ongoing thing. Um, and I just really felt called to do some specific self-love work today. I also picked up this candle. I've been heavy on my protection magic. As a witch, that's, uh, protection magic is something that is one of my specialties. Like, it's, it's super easy for me to access. And um, the spirits that work with me are very protective. You know, like doctors, there's doctors, but then every doctor has a specialty. Same thing like with a witch, we all have our things that we do. Uh, so yeah, protection is something that is really easy for me. So I also picked up this protection candle, black candle. Everybody's been doing a lot of protection magic, especially in light of the Black Lives Matter movement. So let me get that, yep, yeah, there we go, there we go. So I picked up this protection candle. I usually just, I actually like to use plain black, seven day candle so similar to this just black um but those have been out and i saw this and i was like i didn't see the other black candle so i picked this up so that's what we got for that um we have what else did i pick up champagne i went to the liquor store today i don't know if you'll be able to see that i went to the liquor store today and picked up some champagne i like to utilize champagne in um some of my prosperity work um, but especially spiritual baths, okay? I'm gonna be talking a lot more about spiritual baths on this here channel. Uh, but if you, the, the spiritual baths are gonna be part of your front line of defense when it comes to your prosperity, your protection, your cleansing, all that stuff. So when I do my, some, I have a lot of tools in my toolbox. Uh, but uh, the prosperity bath that I'm gonna be doing next is going to involve the champagne. So that's what I brought that for. What else did we get?
Hoyt oil. We picked up some Hoyt oil. These bottles are super small. Let me bring this Florida water here for context. This bottle is usually as big as this bottle, but lately I've been where I, I picked this up from Herbs and Arts, and Herbs and Arts have been getting the small Hoyt's oil or the Hoyt's cologne. So if you know, you know. Conjurers know what's up. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, so I picked up some Hoyt's. Uh, let's talk about these herbs. That's right. So I bought some herbs and some resins and things of that nature, and we're going to get into it. So I brought some barberry. There you go. We got some barberry. I also picked up some agrimony. So here's this. Picked up an ounce of that. All of these I got an ounce of. I've got these cinnamon twigs. I actually meant to get cinnamon chips, but when I said it, she accidentally grabbed these. And it's the same, basically the same thing, but basically the same thing. Um, but they're, I love the way these looked. So she was gonna put those back and I was like, no, I actually want that. I'm gonna be able to use that. So I also got some anais seed. So we've got some anais seed as well. Um, and I got some buckeyes. I picked up two buckeyes today. So those are what those are. Let me take one of these out so you can kind of see these a lot better. So this is what that looks like, this buckeye, you know. So I took, I got two of those. I also picked up a little Manila Copal resin. I burn a lot of resins in these house, in this house. Um, I burn a lot of things. You can burn more than sage to cleanse your home, okay? You can burn more than sage to cleanse your house. Um, so be aware of that. <laughs> Alrighty then. So more offerings, more offerings. So I'm part of the Dead Mothers Club. Uh, what that means, and I'm not even, I'm not making light of it, but literally it means what it says. My mom died uh, when I was 26, but in all actuality, my mom was dead to me pretty much when I was eight years old. Uh, she wasn't that great of a mom. We've done a lot of work on the other side. She's a much better, you know, ancestral mother than she was physical mother. But anyway, I bought her, one of her drinks of choice was Seagram's Gin. So, usually I offer the dark liquor to the ancestors, but um, she was a gin drinker, so I've got her some gin. And speaking of dark liquor, we've got some Bacardi Gold for the spirits. So those are the offerings that I brought today. Those are some of the things, oh, last but not least. I got some protection bath salts. Let's see. Yeah, so we got some protection bath salts from Herbs and Arts. I usually make my own, um, but I didn't have the time today or this week. I didn't feel inclined to do so. I do trust their formulations for that, and I also will be using my other own. I have other, you know, formulations too. So that's that. And then I brought my vagina candle. I don't know if I can show. So I'm just going to show you guys the back of the vagina candle. It's pink. You can't really, you can see that a lot better right there. But it's pink. And on the front of this candle, it has like the, the shape of the vagina. You can use vagina candles for uh, fertility work. You can use them to attract love, to attract lovers. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to use mine for. <laughs> but just know that I'm using it for something good. Just know that I'm using it for something good. Uh All right. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys is this here candy, sweet treats and uh, candy. So the spirits, some of the spirits that I work with love candy, they love sweets. So I bought all of these uh, to give to them today. So that is the magic haul, you guys. That's the magic haul. Um, that's what I got and picked up today. Uh, that's what's on this table. Yeah, so that's what I got. And um, thanks for coming with me. Thanks for listening. This is what I got today.
lots of stuff the spirits are pleased uh, so when I'm done making this video I'm actually going to get into some altar work so I'm gonna get into some I'm gonna make my offerings I'm gonna clear off the altars I'm gonna party with the spirits we're gonna do some magic we're gonna do some magic now you ready to have a conversation? Because I'm ready to update you. I'm ready to talk to you. I'm ready to say some things. Let me organize this a little bit better and I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. Where the hell have I been? What the hell has been going on? And what the heck is going on with this channel? Let's talk about it. As I mentioned before, I'm fully aware that the last time I spoke to you guys was five months ago. I want to thank every single one of you for your patience. Thank you to every single one of my loyal subscribers that have just stayed with me. And thank you to all the new subscribers that have hopped on board on this train when the train wasn't moving. Like, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the real MVP. So, let's check in. The last time I touched base with you guys, uh was a couple months ago and actually it was um right around the time that uh kobe bryant and Gigi bryant rest in peace passed away and i did a video that was all about if you're struggling with the hashtag girl dad so that was the last time i touched base with you guys and um so let's go back there um when i did that video actually i was i believe it was february in the end of february beginning of march and i was in the middle of doing a play i was part of of, I got asked to be um, a part of an amazing production that was written and directed by a, a comrade and a friend of mine in the community, um, Kenya Fashaw. So she wrote and directed a play called Cages, and this mini play was a part of uh, six other plays. So there was it was a production called Six Nights. Um, six plays, one night. One night, six plays. One night, six plays. Six days, plays, one night. One night, six plays. <laughs> and it was six plays that were displayed that night. And I was part of one of those plays, which was Cages. So, February, the beginning of this year was amazing. I was doing everything that I wanted to do. I had set a plan for this year, and I was going after it. Um, the last video that, we, that I did with you, uh, like I said, I was doing the play. I was moving forward in my life. Um, everything was wonderful. I had plans for this year, plans for this channel, and then the Coco Roro happened. <laughs> the Coco Roro showed up and derailed everybody's plans, not just mine. <laughs> When Coco came, when the row row showed up, um, my streams of income went down, but my work went up. Uh, my my need, the need for my services went up, and the request for my presence went up. So I ended up losing a lot of money, but I but I doubled my workload. Um, I am a working witch. I'm a working artist. I'm a working event producer. I'm a working content creator. Um, but first and foremost, I'm a working healer. I'm a working witch. I'm a working high priestess and even though I do make money off of that uh, by doing spell work for people um, doing healings for people doing readings for people offering spiritual guidance for people I'm not in that for the money I do understand that I need to be paid uh, that my work the study uh, my skill needs to be honored uh, the time that I have spent pursuing this dream this calling this purpose this path this desire uh, that needs to be honored and I need to be honored in a monetary space and not just I need to be honored in an in energetic space energetic reciprocity I also need to be honored monetarily I get that and I'm hundred percent rooted in that I also understand that I am called into this I'm called into this you know being a healer being a priestess being a, a spiritual counselor is not something that I elected to do it's not something that I wanted to do it's something that I was born to do so in times like this when uh, your community is in need money becomes secondary money becomes something that isn't the top priority the top priority is healing your people the top priority is being there for your community the top priority is making sure you are okay so that you can serve in the ways that you need to so when Roro hit um, 
that's became my focus. I officially went under sheltering in place quarantine uh, March the 9th. So I was in my house, I was in my home, I was hunkered down, I was sheltered in place March the 9th. Um, and that, you know, the row row, uh, completely derailing my plans, being sheltered in place, um, that affected me deeply. It affected me deeply and I stopped posting. I, I became uninterested in working anything out in regards to this channel. Um, my priority was being present within my community. My priority was being present for the people who needed me. And my priority was being present for myself. So that's what I did. That's where I was at. I uh, simply stopped posting because I offered my services deeper and a lot more in the community. I answered a need that my community was very vocal about. Um, and as I was being reached out to, uh, to assist with, um, you know, they were, I was assisting with, you know, miscarriages. I was assisting with, um, counseling people through rough times, through loss. I was assisting with death doula in work. I was assisting with gaining resources for sex workers. Um, I was doing a lot. I was doing a lot. I was doing a lot. And that became my focus. Also, my focus was making sure I was okay. Making sure that physically I had enough, uh, mentally I had enough. Enough, emotionally I had enough spiritually I had enough to be able so I so no one else would have to worry about me um, but also I could be there for the best uh, to the best of my ability for everyone so um, pretty much that's it that's what happened row row <sighs> derailed everything row row shifted everything and um, I leaned into that and understood that Everything that I had planned, everything um, that I was working towards was either done or modified. And I pulled back from everything to get a lay of the land, to see uh, and to acclimate and to deal and to adapt with what was happening. Um, and creating for the people was not my priority at that time. So that's what happened. That's the, you know, the reason why you didn't get any updates. Roro came in and changed all of this. The tra tra trajectory of everything got shifted. The row row came through and knocked everything off of the table and made me start fresh. So that's what that was, guys. That's what that was. That's what that was. So a couple of things. The last time I left, left you guys, I, uh, let me update you about a, a few parts of my journey. Um, or actually one major part of my journey. So. The last time I touched base with you guys, I was um, on my way to be initiated. As you guys know, uh, last year I was called to the realm of voodoo. I have been a conjurer, I have been a practitioner of hoodoo for over 15 years, closer to 20 years, a little bit over 20 years. And I have been called into initiating and into practicing voodoo. Um, so last year that call came and I answered it wholeheartedly. And this year in March, I was scheduled to uh, have my initiation. Well, the row row messed all that up. So right now I am not initiated um, in into voodoo. I am not. And I'm not simply because cor Corona came through and the row row came through and messed up all the plans. Am I still uh, looking to initiate into voodoo? Yes. Am I still looking to go to Haiti uh, to do what I'm called to do? Yes, I am. Um, but right now that is going to be whenever spirit calls me there and when it's safe enough to travel there. I do not want to bring any, I don't want to bring any um, disease, strife, anything to Haiti. So I want to make sure I'm safe and I want to, you know, wait until travel is safe and we've got a little bit from our grasp on this whole situation. So am I still studying voodoo? Yes. Am I still a mambo in training? Yes. Have I initiated yet? No. Will I be initiating at some point? Yes. Can I tell you a date uh, as of right now? No. But know that it's going to happen. <laughs> so that's that. That's that. All right. So let's talk about the direction of the channel. Now that we've got all of that covered, what the hell am I doing with this channel? What can you expect moving forward? Timeline, frequency of videos, what are we gonna be doing? Content, let's talk about it. 
So, as far as direction of the channel goes, um, what can you expect from me? You can expect a lot more regular uploads. Um, I am reacclimating to a new life. I'm reacclimating to a new way of creating, a new way of being, a couple of new ways of making money. So you can, um, now that I am acclimating, adapting to, to this new space, to this new way of being, you can definitely expect a lot more uploads from me. My goal is to at least hit you once a, a week, if not more than that. Um, what kind of content can you expect to see from my page? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> you're definitely gonna see some witchy stuff. Um, you're gonna see more magic hauls. I'm definitely gonna show you um, when I pick up some things. Um, I'm gonna talk to you more in depth about certain tools, magic tools, certain parts of the practice that are beneficial, uh, different things that I use, magic, you know, magic tips and tricks. You can definitely expect that. A lot of motivational content from me. I'm definitely gonna be on some, I'm gonna try my hand at some ASMR. I said that before, but I'm definitely gonna be doing that. So um, I'm gonna do some affirmation ASMR. You can definitely, uh, you know, expect a lot of motivational and affirmation content. Um, also lots of rants, okay? Just be prepared for that. I got an opinion about a lot of things and y'all be pissing me off. Woo! Y'all be pissing me off. America, anti-blackness, the world. So you can definitely expect some rants from me. You can expect some get readies with me as I start, like as we start getting into, you know, life. That'll probably be a little bit further down the line. But you know, you can expect some getting ready with me, getting readies with me. Um, getting ready for with me when I do photo shoots, when I'm going off to work, different parts of my job, when I'm doing workshops, uh, even some getting ready for me when I start dealing with submissives again. So we're gonna do some of those. Uh, expect some content about being a recovering Jehovah Witness. I've got some things to say to that and I feel real moved. Spirit is pushing me to share my journey with being a recovering Jehovah Witness. Um, you can expect some eat with me's. Uh, not some straight up mukbangs. I'm a big fan of mukbangs actually. But uh, so expect like some kind of some eating content. I'm definitely gonna do some story times and some eat with me's and all that good stuff. I've got some fun content for you guys. Some pranks, some jokes, all that stuff. So you can expect a variety of things from me. Basically, I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. There's gonna be some witchy stuff. We're gonna talk about fat issues. I'm definitely pro-black in this piece. We're gonna talk about current events, Black Lives Matter. We're gonna talk about all kinds of things. So I hope you're ready. Also know that I'm always open to suggestions. If there's something that you wanna see from me, um, let me know and we'll see if, I, if that resonates with me. If I feel called to it, I'll do it. You can definitely expect some book reviews. You can uh, expect some sex toy adult toy reviews uh, you can expect some plant care I'm a whole plant lady so you can definitely expect, expect some plant care I, I get questions about my skincare a lot so I definitely am gonna do uh, like a skin routine um, for you guys so uh, yeah, you can, that's what you, what you can expect. It's going to be all over the place. I, mean, I plan on having a good time with this page. Basically, I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> invite you guys along for the journey, and I hope you come with me. But this is definitely going to be heavy on the magic, heavy on the spirituality, heavy on the motivation, heavy on the sex positivity, heavy on the body positivity, heavy on the celebration of blackness, and my and heavy on the celebration of my own self love. So, um, shout out to Joshua Mays, who is an amazing artist, who is the person who created this amazing painting that's sitting in back of me. I've known Joshua Mays for years. We grew up in, we kind of came up artistically in the Colorado art scene. He no longer lives in Colorado. Um, I believe he's based out in Philly or the or or the East Coast somewhere. I'm not too sure actually. He used to be based in Philly for a long time. And I don't know if he's still there, but shout out to him. I wanted to acknowledge this amazing artwork behind me, Joshua Mays. He's so amazing. Support black art. Support black art. So yes, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you enjoyed the magic haul. I hope you enjoyed coming with me throughout my day. I wanted to show you so much more about my day, but it was raining and 
I wasn't trying to be out in the rain doing no special filming, getting my equipment wet. We ain't, they ain't nobody got time for that. So I definitely plan on showing you guys a lot more uh, intimate aspects of my day um, and all that good stuff. So thank you for your support. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, again, if you're feeling me, if you're feeling this, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notifications bell to keep up with all of my latest shenanigans. So free to comment. What have you been doing? What have you been up to? Put it in the comments. I want to hear. Also, if you're new here, if in the, uh, by new, I mean if you've shown up to this page and you subscribe, within the last six months, do me a favor, do me a favor and put a little caterpillar emoji in the comments. If you have been a long time supporter and you've been rocking with me through all of my procrastination, <laughs> through all of my first videos, cause those of you who've been rocking with me for a while know that I, this actually, this channel had a lot more videos <laughs> and I privated and deleted a lot because it was time to renew and refresh and start over. But if you are old school, if you've been around and uh, you've been following me for a while, go ahead and leave a butterfly in the comments for me so I know who you are. Oh, I know who you are. Well, it's good to be back and I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, a lot happened during the break. A lot happened during the break. Actually, I'm thinking about something right now that I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a, a whole separate video about. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a whole separate video about this. So one of the things that actually, I'm gonna allude to it now, and then I'll tell you guys, we're gonna get into a whole other video about this, but um, I, during this break, during this time, I was dealing with a lot of mental health issues too, actually. It had nothing to do with the row row. It had everything to do with where I'm at in my life. It had everything to do with like where the, the, the healing path that I'm on, um, where, where I'm at. So at the beginning of the year, um, when I was going embarking on, you know, the next part of my healing journey, um, there are some things about my past that came up that I needed to deal with. Um, and in dealing with those things, it brought up a lot of really painful memories. Um, and I was down, you know, to heal those painful memories. Well, in the middle of dealing with those pain, painful, in, um, you know, memories, I had a really traumatic experience um, that was very life changing, um, but it could have it could have gone either way. It, it, it was an experience that um, it could have broken me. It really could have broken me and sent me into one of the most destructive tailspins I probably would have ever embarked on, or. Um, it, it, allowed, it was an experience that allowed me to break on through to the other side. So we're gonna share that I think in you know the next couple videos to expect some diaries, some some row row diaries, some uh, some cocoa some cocoa nineteen diaries, um, some cocoa nineteen confessions. You can definitely expect some of that content coming soon. We're gonna talk about all the things, but. I think we've covered a lot today. I hope that you're satisfied with this video. I am beyond happy to be back and I'm so excited to share with you all. Thank you for your patience. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for listening. Thank you for everything. If you're old here, I love you dearly and thank you for your support. So have a good day and I will see you soon.